Now we have our final two belts, including our co-feature belt, uh, Nadim Salom and Ashton Sykes, which figures to be a, an interesting contest. Salom is an awesome story. We're going to get into that through the fight. Sykes is a guy who's defeated some, some real good quality fighters. Let's take us through the tail of the tape. Several of his country men here. Saloon. I'm very Make excited your to see way him. To the the ring. Ring. Making history. I spoke to him uh, for about 20 minutes the other day. Very engaging young man. Good personality. Yeah, I just got to meet him as I was coming in the building. A uh, very respectable young man. Like came up to me, talked to me, uh, like we knew each other for a while. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's always good to, to I hear. I think it's you. <laughs> I you think have, it's me. You have that effect on people. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. In the blue corner, we have the goon, Aston Sykes, fighting at a charm city, boxing, Baltimore, Maryland. The goon is about to get it in. Now, I said we had something special for you. So what we do is we have something special for you here in Louisville, Kentucky, Kentucky Center for our African American Heritage. Nadine, the unpredictable salute. His countrymen are excited. Now, I have one thing about to say about the unpredictable. He will be fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, by way of Lebanon. Now understand that this is the first professional boxer out of Lebanon, and he's here in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's go! I mean, he's in Louisville, Kentucky. Rich side here at the Kentucky Center for African American Heritage. Saloum in the red, Sykes in the uh, black, uh, yellow, and red, or black, gold, and red. Saloon comes out landing a good right hand. Nice combination he just landed. The first boxer coming out of out of his country. Very happy that, you know, he, he feels that he does have, you know, the country on his back a little bit in the sense that he, he, he wants to do great things and, and, and for his country. Yes. He was a uh, international champion, so the amateur pedigree was there. He's letting his hands go very well. Good combination from the Dean Saloon. He's a... Uh, Sykes at five and four, but that doesn't tell the match for boxing state. Yeah, I believe uh, in a sad story. I think Roy King just passed a, a close city, Chattanooga, uh, Johnson City, actually. Yes, he did. He passed away in February. Yeah, so I hear about that. Good right from Saloon. Sykes misses with the right hand. Nice defense. Good right hand from distance from Simone. Round two is scheduled for six. Saloon has very good combination skills. He uh, he throws his hands in bunches and you know not all of them land, but he lands the, he's the finishing one, just like that combination right there. Saloon circling around to his left. Now circles back towards his right. Right from Saloon, a little bit short. Good right oh, over the nice, top. That nice. one wasn't short. And another combination. Nice looks very durable. He's like he's taking the punches very well. Takes a lot of talent to be able to punch while you're moving. Oh yes, for sure. That that is a um, that is something that takes a lot of energy too. Good body work. Lands a couple more, gets out. Like that. Actually, yeah, that's a nice combination. That was punctuated with a right that split the guard. And he ducked under a big left hook attempt by Ashton Sykes. Nice but, body shot, yeah. please. And then he comes back upstairs with an uppercut. Ducks under. That's so, I'm very impressed with his skill so far. Yeah, that needs a miss. He seems to be just standing, he's just outside of uh, the punching range of Sykes. And when Sykes gets in there, co-feature Val. So Loom just fainted in Sykes. Sloom has a uh, 
has that relaxed style, that style where you have to get him out of that zone. You have to get, you have to pressure him. You have good, good amount of slickness to his yes, game. Yes. Nice uppercut he just placed with a right hand. Left hook Sykes trying to crowd some. Nice. Two. Follows up with another right, good left to the body, uppercut misses. But again, a good scoring combination from Nadeem Salou. Yes, I like how he stands there, he stands his ground in these moves. He's done it again, very nice combination. He's landed on a big hook. He has the tools. He has all the tools that I see right now. Oh, nice slip right hand he just landed. He's getting through with almost everything. He's just picking him apart right now. He's having fun. In He's having fun. Saloum is just too comfortable right now. And he, he landed big punches like that on the ropes. Starting to get Sykes in a little bit of trouble. This, this is, so he is in the zone. Good right hand gets through. End of round three, schedule for six. Big round for Nadim Saloum. He's having fun. Round number four, scheduled for six. Let's see if uh, Saloum can kind of step it up even more. Let's see what Ashton Sykes can do to kind of get himself back in the fight. He tried to load up with a left hook. That was a triple hook he just threw? Yeah. I like how he changed the eye level too of his punches. Sykes come out, tries to flick a left hand, trying to get Sloom on the ropes. Uh, the round just started. Uh, Sloom hasn't started throwing his, uh, his ammunition. Jab. That was four jabs. It went head, body, head, body. Oh, nice lead right hand he just landed. He's got a lot of tools to nice. the game somewhere. He's just showcasing right now. Love it. Nice, nice. I love the finish. I love the, the, the jab after the after he finishes combination. He finishes with the jab. I, you're, you're, you're the fighter. <laughs> you're the three punch combination. He's some good combinations right now. He's on fire. Ashton Sykes. In the control since the beginning. He's, uh, you know. He's My 103 inch television, actually. Do you want a three inch television? Well, I, have, I love it. Well, now that I know you, you might be able to. <laughs> As we start round six. Oh, he got the. Sykes. Partially, partially. Sykes knows he has to be down at least, you know, probably four, maybe five rounds. I like his, uh, Punches. He threw like a corkscrew punch to the body in the face. He just landed a body shot and a hook to the head. Amazing. It's a terrific combination. 